So, all right, YouTube, we're here for round one of the challenge. Uh, we're on the draw, which kind of sucks. Uh, thank you for the bits, uh, Shankus. Recovering from Jackson Hole. Everything hurts. I'm sorry, Rafi. Sorry you're in such pain. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. Sounds good. This is a keeper. Okay, Island Ponder. Could be anything. But we're going to take a look. Chose not to shuffle. This Edict's likely not going to be very good against the Island Ponder deck, unless this gets dazed. Alright, so I guess we just take care of one of these Stoneforge Mystics. And then we have the Colagons coming in and deal with the second one. So we're kind of rewarded for, like, for our deck choice here. You know, like, we want... We want to be able to uh, power through these Stoneforge Mystic decks, and we should be able to do that with our cake commands. It's a nice draw. We're not going to just run the Stoneforge Mystic into uh, into counter or this Baleful Strix into a counter spell. It's worth noting that our opponent has a Wasteland. Still nothing from our opponent. I'm going to brainstorm again in my opponent's turn. We have Trinity Nemesis covered, which is nice. We don't have a counterspell for a Jace, but it would be pretty aggressive for my opponent just to jam in here, but they might. Okay. Get your Stoneforge Mystic. Spell. Want to fetch an island and brainstorm. And then I'm just gonna push the stone forge mystic at the end of the turn. I want to keep probably one push. I want to keep one push in my... I want to keep my land, basically. So let's just push this, Stoneforge. Okay. So we just let it go. Which kind of makes sense. I think I'm actually going to shuffle a... Well, they're going to waste me, so... So I'll keep my land, fetch, and then play Baleful Strix. Because if they counterspell the Baleful Strix, then that's okay. I'll just get a land that I don't really care about. Okay. We can use that next turn. All right. Go to red. Okay, there's another stone forge mystic. The Jurgit. <clears throat> so this should probably get a counter spell out of our opponent. 
And now this is gone. This is gone. Now I can go get a, go get some duels. I get a bad land, so I can't get cut off double black. And we're going to thought seize the jet. I could also, I think I'm actually going to thought seize the batter skull. Like, if they want to put the, if they want to put the stone forge mystic, oh, true nemesis. So what's my opponent going to do next time? So Batter Skull is annoying because if they get five mana, it's going to be hard to kill. True Name Nemesis we can deal with because we can go Bolt, this, and then Edict. I think I just want to get rid of the Batter Skull. Like, bat, like True Name plus Jit is the scariest one, but Batter Skull is just really annoying. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of this batter skull. I'm already at 12. And then I'll look to trade. Like, I'll trade my Baleful Strix for this Stoneforge Mystic. Drew Wasteland. Oh, that's bad. I probably should have gotten two red sources in my lands. Now I'm in trouble. Okay, so their last two cards are Jet Snapcaster Mage. <clears throat> yeah. So I have to find a red source here pretty quick. Found a red source. So I'm actually going to shuffle away both of these. Go get a red source. Bolt the Stone Forge. Edict my opponent and then start attacking. <clears throat> my opponent's last two are Snapjet. Which we can handle. <laughs> e for two, okay. So that is going to wipe my board, but it gives me the option to, like, return with my Colgon's Command. It's a tough draw. Hey, thanks, Jay Baseball. So I kind of want to do this now. Because I get a good card regardless here. I'll just take back my Snapcaster Mage. Though the Baleful Strix might have been better. All right, you got a snap, snap ponder probably. Yeah. Okay. So we're looking for a Jace. Jace or Liliana would be really good right now. Yeah, thanks uh, for the birthday wishes.
So my opponent has two cards. <clears throat> Do I want to go Snapcaster Mage, make you discard Recurrent Baleful Strix? That's kind of nice. And just hope my opponent's last two cards aren't... I mean, we're going to have... If they have four plus blue cards in there, empty. Because we've already dealt with both of their equipments. Yeah. All right, so just to land. I guess I could have also tried to do that in combat and return my Snapcaster. Definitely just going to trade. Probably have to force this. Which kind of sucks. Jace? No Jace. I guess I could have kept my snap and then snap edicted. Oh, that's not bad. I'm just going to keep passing, like, my opponent's not doing anything. Okay. Okay. Worry about Jace. Like, Jace would bury me at this point. They chose not to shuffle. Like draw like a him. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I let this resolve. I can shoot it, return Snapcaster Mage. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can Snapcaster Brainstorm. See who they target. So return. I guess I could also just like have them discard a card and then next turn deal with this. Now I'm at nine, which is a little low. So return target creature. Thank you for the birthday wish. Target Brainstorm, let click resolve, and then Brainstorm. I kept up with it a little bit. Happy Womb Emancipation Day, Soldier. <laughs> They're going to give me this. And then I'll Brainstorm. All right, these are all pretty nice. I'll put the him underneath the Strix. Now we're all on the battlefield. A little weak to a true name. Or Jace. Okay. So now I'm going to start pon now I'm going to ponder before I do anything.
I guess I can go like him into ponder. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's probably worth it. Oh, I should have attacked Jace first. Because they might not have plowed it. Okay, so they're just going to force this. Which means they likely have something like a true name. So we go into our ponder. Now we ponder. All right. I guess I'll just draw the land. Then Jace next turn. This probably means that they're, they're sitting on like a true name or a council's judgment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can actually, if our opponent plays a true name, we can bounce our own Snapcaster with Jace and Diabolic Edict it. So let's start by attacking Jace with both. Oh, wow, this is going to work. Well, now, I mean, I could get hard cast force, but I'm not really doing anything else. So I'm just going to jam this. Whoa. Force plus blue card, or I could him their last two cards. That sounds nice. This could mean a click's coming. Oh, I got a council's judgment? Okay. Yes, yeah, so this game's over. Oh, okay. I spoke too soon. Got any plans today? We're just going to stream the challenge. My wife's going to get home, but she's sick, so she's probably going to go to bed. Then I'm going to get some Chinese food later. Nice. Attack Jace, attack Jace. I don't really have any creatures to bring back. So go attack my opponent, brainstorm, and pass. Okay, so let's just put back these two. What challenge will you stream, you say? Confused by Donkey Crusader. All right, so now I'm just going to K command. Target player discards a card, deal two damage. Plow my Snapcaster, okay. Hmm. 
bolt my opponent. Brainstorm does Angler, which is nice. We can probably put these back. Attack, and then I'll just play Gurmag. It's just two lethal threats. Doesn't really matter how I delve. Okay. And go. Some of your answer to Jason about a challenge today. Yeah, I'm streaming the Legacy Challenge right now. So against Stoneblade, I want to remove a couple cards here. I don't want Gurmag Angler. Um, I want my Lilianas. So I don't want too many forces. I can get some Pyroblasts. Thank you. I'm going to bring in another Edict, but I'm not going to bring in these. Probably just board out another one of these. Maybe I'll just board them all out and bring in Flusterstorm. I want my removal for Stoneforge Mystic and click. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I have to be weary of back to basics. So that's something that we have to pay attention to. Well, you know, having access to a blast or something like that throughout the game. I will keep my hand. Right as I say, I have to worry about back to basics. I have basic lands that I can't, that I'm forced not to fetch. Oh, that's not bad. I'm just going to pass. I don't want to like. Baleful Strix into a back to basics. I can like brainstorm into turn. Ponder's good. Ponderosa is good. I'm going to fetch an island with this. Only makes me one delta two snaps. Nice. All right. Opponent gets a clean two for one here. I'm gonna fetch an island, brainstorm. I don't need all of these Strix. And then I'm just gonna push this. Get a swamp. That's a nice draw. So I'm going to Thought Seize first because I can force a Fluster Storm. Are they surgicaling me? No. So I'm going to get a Badlands because my opponent showed Wasteland, and I'm assuming that we're going to have Back to Basics covered here. I think I'm just going to get rid of this uh, Vendillion Click, because it lets them play at instant speed, or I could get the Snapcaster Mage. I should get rid of the Jet. Stoneforge doesn't really do anything. I'm just going to get rid of this Click. Because the click messes with me. All right, you got your stone forge. Oh, nice. This is cute. From our opponent. Oh, that's cute. I should have thought of that. Should have thought of that and I didn't. So I might have to edict this. 
Mystic. I could snap push it also. I like that better. Saving Edict for a true name. It also just gets me on the board. Push the Stone Forge. It is noting that my opponent gained a pretty serious amount of card advantage there. Maybe I should have just taken the Brainstorm. All right, well, here's the Batter Skull. Oh, nope. Just going to have a hard cast four soul up, it looks like. Start with a ponder. Jeez. <clears throat> I think I'm actually going to hit my opponent before I cast Baleful Strix. And just, I'll probably just not cast Strix this turn. Because I, I don't want it to get Fluster Stormed. And I might Fluster Storm this Brainstorm. Yeah, I'm going to. I have. All right, let's see what we get. We have Batter Skull. So they still have Jet. So I'm just going to attack because I don't want to block and have them get two counters. I want them to use all of the counters on the jet to kill these creatures. I'm the person you had a great discussion with about Ambiguous Sendings on Twitter a few weeks ago. Oh, okay, nice. Three mana. We're getting basic. True name Nemesis. That's okay. Oh my god, we just get it all. Shatter Shock Edict. Whew. Uh, target player, destroy target artifact, deal two damage here. And I think I'm still just going to get a swap. My opponent has two Tundras on the field, but like, I think the way that I lose is just getting cheesed out. And we're pretty far ahead. We can like, we can sort of handle a Jace. Snapcaster is a good hit. From our opponent. <sighs> yeah, the ending of Batman would have been so better if they hadn't shown Christian Bale and Anne Hathaway. It would have just been so much better. I choose not to shuffle. Ponder, Ponder, Edict. I kind of want all of these. I guess the second Ponder the least. I guess it kind of sucks. My mana situation kind of sucks because I fetch basics. But whatever.
That's good. Does that mean that like we can still edict a true name? Okay. We're beating down with our birds. I think we're pretty I think we're pretty far ahead here. But like a Jace could make that not happen as much. Yep. Opponent finds a Jace. Okay. This is a ponder. So let's see if we can find a bolt or a K command. None of those are that. Pretty good. Um, I guess I might want to keep cards, so I should do it like this. I'm just gonna rebuy Snapcaster Mage. Ooh, head appears. Okay. Any order. Okay. <clears throat> so Jace could run away with the game. I would like a Jace of my own, if at all possible. Oh. Attack Jace, attack Jace. All right, now we'll just pass. My opponent's got a hard cast force up, so I don't think I'm going to do anything. Well, now I'm going to do something at the end of my opponent's turn, so we either set another Liliana. So I'm going to make them discard and return Snapcaster Mage. Return Snap, you discard. This is going to get some action out of our opponent. They are surgically my Snapcaster Mages. Okay. Uh, no, but that's just... Uh, a, a spell that expensive is not what modern is back. You deal two. All right, I'm just going to jam and just start going up with it. Present another kind of clock. All right, my opponent's got another Jays. So, the big question is, do we just ignore this Jace? I think I do. I could just blast the Jace right now, which I think I'm going to do, even though we have to shuffle away some good cards.
Okay. Cards looking for force plus blue card, I guess. All right, nice. And then attack. I guess I should have shocked with that K command. Okay, and I'm just going to edict this. My opponent knows about this edict too, so. Kind of a curious. I could just flash and snapcast the mage, I guess. Or I can just spell pierce it. Okay. All right, attack. Edict again, roll Liliana up. I think, I mean, it's going to be tough. My opponent can come back. I mean, my opponent says something weird. A Teferi would probably be a decent start. I have a pile of Edicts in my 75 okay. today because, like, I'm just not losing to that card today. Whew. All right, we'll be back for round two.